Welcome to Beneficent, folks. My name is Josh. Today we're going to be going over, I think it's a three-year review of the Orvis Hydros 5 reel. So the V-reel, because they just don't want to use numbers for some reason. And I think they just revamped this reel. I was just looking on their website. This retails between $250 to $300, depending on which one you get. And you can, I think you can buy it pre-spooled as well. I have this paired with the Orvis Recon uh, 9'9", so the 9 I use this for stripers pretty much all year, and I use it for largemouth bass, I've used it for lake trout, I've actually used it for steelhead, and the drag is phenomenal. And the finish is great. I love like the matte anodized, that's great. Now when I first got this reel, it does say in the very, very small fine print on a little pamphlet you get, this is a sealed drag system, but it is unsealed when you open it. So I was out striper fishing on Cape Cod, and I did this and I opened it up, next to the water or on the water and I got sand all in here and I dunked it real quick and salt water got all into the unsealed part of it so once you open it it unseals it unfortunately so there's an o-ring on the inside of this that seals it off on that shaft right there it corroded the entire inside I couldn't even pull the drag at all it's completely locked and I didn't realize that until I was on a fishing trip so that was unfortunate I sent it back to Orvis they replaced it that was great now this one, last year I had the same issue where I had never opened it. I actually had another rod where I put my depth charge line on it. So I was switching from sinking the floating line, uh, just changing spools. And I have never opened this one and I had the same issue. So every time I saw water fish, I bring it home and I spray it off with, with hose pressure, which was like 45, 50 PSI. Spray it, rinse it down. I rinse down all my gear when I'm done saltwater fishing. I could, the drag was basically locked. It was completely corroded on the inside. Not as bad as the first time. So what I had to do is they, they give you a spanner wrench, luckily, and this is, the, they give you the spanner wrench so you can change uh, between left hand and right hand. You open that up, which there's another O-ring in there as well that seals the outside. I had to take all of the, uh, the one-way bearing out and all of the drag system and everything out and go in there with like a dental pick and scrape out all the corrosion and basically put it all back together and, and lubricate it properly. So that was kind of a bummer. I Luckily I realized that halfway through the season, um, just salt water got in there just from using it. I didn't even drop it in the water. I fish from a boat predominantly. So I'm not, you know, dunking this thing in water and letting it sit float in water while I'm, and I'm landing a fish. So that was kind of sad. I know they just revamped this. Like I said, this goes for between $250 to $300. Um, I don't know if they revamped the sealing system. I'm hoping they did. But other than that, the drag is great. Uh, the action is great. There's very low startup drag on this as well. It holds uh, the, nine the nine weight saltwater line perfectly. I've never had any issues with the click, the click mechanism that holds the spool on. Um, I, the tolerances are pretty tight around the reel and I get that, but if you get any sort of sand in there, it just kind of like really jams it up. So I don't, I don't know how to fix that, but I'm sure Orvis worked on it and the new one. Uh, other than that, it's a great reel. Reel seat's great. Never had any issues. I've ran it, landed, you know, 30 inch steelhead and 30 inch stripers on it with, with no issue. The drag holds up pretty good. And I, I follow the same result as most people suggest is at the end of the trip, make sure you loosen your drag um, as much as you can to take a, some stress off that system. I like to leave it a couple clicks in case I bump into it so it doesn't backlash. So thanks for watching. I'm going to leave uh, the link for this um, below on Orvis's website and on Amazon. I did try to buy another frame from them so I because I have a spool, but I'm never going to change spools out because I'm way too worried about that system in there getting all buggered up with salt water. So thanks for watching.